Unless you're okay to pedal, scooters have always been go-to vehicles for personal urban transportation and occasionally inner-city voyages. In 2024, these two-wheelers continue their exponential growth by offering affordable, economical, hassle-free, and reliable way of avoiding crowded public transport. Today, we'll show you the newest scooter models across various displacements and styles. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay up-to-date with the latest motorized news and enjoy the ride! Kimco Skytown At the 2023 Milan show, Kimco unveiled the Skytown, designed for urban adventures and available in 125cc and 150cc engine sizes. These scooters feature lightweight maxi scooter frame, weighing just 257 pounds. The ride comfort is ensured by a tall windscreen, passenger grab handle, ample underseat storage, spacious enough for a full face helmet, USB socket, and a vibrant full color TFT display. The Skytown rides on 14 inch front and 13 inch rear wheels, gets front and rear disc brakes, and prioritizes efficiency and longevity, adhering to Euro 5 Plus emission standards. The 125cc variant comes with a combined braking system, whereas the 150cc model enhances safety with an ABS system. Although specific pricing and availability details are pending, the Skytown is anticipated to arrive in European showrooms by 2024. Vespa GTV Launched in 2006, the GTV embodies the classiest and the purest Vespa design with a low mudguard positioned headlight and exposed tubular handlebar. In 2023, the model also adds a couple of new tricks and packs the most powerful engine ever mounted on a Vespa. The updates start with two new exterior color options paired with black trim and orange accents. Add to that full LED lighting, new two-tone single-seat saddle, and a set of fresh five-spoke wheels. The drivetrain setup combines a 300cc high-performance single cylinder with a CVT, resulting in 23.8 horsepower output. Technological features include keyless system, ABS, ASR electronic transition, and digital instrument cluster. The latter displays speed, consumption, range, and can be connected to your smartphone using the Vespa MIA. Peugeot XP400 Despite being primarily known for their cars, Peugeot is no stranger to producing scooters and other two-wheelers. The latest addition to their model range is the XP400 Adventure Scooter. The vehicle received class-specific frame geometry and a two-tone exterior design with pronounced fairings, split LED headlights, a front beak, and an adjustable windshield. This 509-pound model is propelled by a single-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine with a 400cc displacement. The performance offered by this engine equates to 35.6 horsepower and 28.1 pound-feet of torque. This is enough to reach the maximum speed of 85 miles per hour. XP400 is rolling on a set of mismatched wheels. We have a 17-inch wheel in the front and 15-inch rear wheel with spoked rims and Pirelli tires. The stopping power comes courtesy of dual-disc front brakes with 295mm discs and ABS. The rear braking setup is represented by a single 240mm disc with dual-channel ABS and traction control. Considering the all-terrain nature of this model, XP400 was equipped with a 41mm upside-down fork and a rear suspension setup with hydraulic shock absorbers. XP400 is equipped with a 3.57-gallon fuel tank and offers the estimated fuel economy of 74 miles per gallon. SYM Joyride 300 The Taiwanese scooter manufacturer adds a new flat floor model as part of a major reshuffle of its 300cc lineup. The Joyride 300 replaces the company's Joyride Evo 200, adopting a similar layout that maximizes legroom and gets a comfortable riding position. SYM offers its entry-level maxi scooter in two versions. The standard one rides on 15-inch front and 14-inch rear wheels. However, buyers can also opt for 16-inch alloy wheels on both ends with ABS included. The new Joyride 300 features a manually adjustable windshield, full LED lighting, an LCD instrument panel, and a 2.0 keyless system with an emergency ignition mode. Under the seat, there's enough space to accommodate two full-size helmets, while the front cowl opens for an extra compartment and a USB charging port. The Joyride 300 is powered by a 278cc single cylinder that produces 26 horsepower and 19 pound-feet of torque. 
Pipermoto J Series Established by John Piper in 2013, Piper Moto wants to build bikes that combine precise engineering and artisan craftsmanship. The brand's first project is the J Series Super Scooter that will be built to order getting numbered chassis and highly customizable equipment. The model looks like a classic scooter but comes powered by an insane 67 horsepower, 690 cc single engine borrowed from the KTM 690. This is not at all surprising given Piper's Formula One, Le Mans, and WRC background. The mill offers 4 seconds 0 to 60 and produces speeds reaching 120 miles per hour. The scoot builds on a chrome molybdenum tubular space frame with a KTM front telescopic suspension and custom pushrod type rear setup. The bodywork is performed used composited, the wire spoke wheels measure 17 inches, and the brake setup is supplied by Brembo. The latter features 320mm discs with four piston calipers front and 240mm units with single piston calipers in the rear. MASH Balena MASH is a rather young European design, China-built motorcycle brand that is becoming especially popular among the beginner riders in the UK. This time, they expand the product lineup with a sporty-looking duo of maxi-style scooters. The Balena is manufactured by the Chinese motorcycle giant Shinerei. It has a futuristic fascia with LED headlights and DRLs, sharp bodywork, and a rather large windscreen for riding comfort. The scooter comes in two displacements of the water-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine, 125 and 300 respectively, make 11 and 24 horsepower, ensuring economical and brisk city commutes. Balenas are equipped with 14-inch front wheels and 13-inch rear wheels, and braking is facilitated by front and rear disc brakes. Additional conveniences encompass a spacious, illuminated storage compartment, keyless ignition, a color display, and even Bluetooth connectivity. Lexmoto XTV 300 Lexmoto XTV 300 is one of the most affordable options on the modern adventure scooter market. A quick look at the spec sheet confirms that XTV 300 is not as powerful and off-road capable as its eminent competition, but considering the price, it'll still be a good option for beginners. XTV 300 is A2 compliant and is brought into motion by a 279cc single-cylinder engine with a belt drive and liquid cooling. This unit produces 25.5 horsepower at 8250 rpm and 17.7 .7 pound-feet of torque at 7000 rpm. The manufacturer suggests that these performance figures will grant you the top speed of 80 miles per hour. The model is equipped with hydraulic brakes with a single disc both at the front and the rear. These have ABS and will let you efficiently control the power and quickly come to a standstill. The adventure capabilities of this two-wheeler are backed up by the full KYB suspension setup with long travel upside-down forks, gas-charged rear shocks that are preload adjustable, as well as all-terrain tires. The scooter's standard package also includes an adjustable windscreen, a large underseat storage area, heated grips, full LED lighting system, and fully digital instrument cluster. Kimco CVL6 Until now, Honda's X80V has been the only big bore adventure scooter in the business, but its unrivaled domination is about to end. Kimco CVL6 rides on a lightweight aluminum frame and is powered by a 550cc liquid-cooled fuel-injected parallel twin. This mill is Euro 5 compliant, makes 50 horsepower, and was likely lifted from the AK550. Adventure cred of this Kimco is underwritten by a step-over design and wide handlebar to improve off-road control of the bike, short windshield, and massive aluminum hard cases from GV. The long travel suspension is represented by USD forks and a rear monoshock. Traction control can be switched off, and tires on 14 and 13 inch wheels have rather aggressive tread. Wotan Storm V Established scooter manufacturers have recently started offering lower displacement versions of their popular adventure scooters, so it's no wonder that smaller players are trying to catch up and produce similar models for their lineups. Wotan Motors, a manufacturer from Spain, has recently announced the new Storm V model. This two-wheeler received a bright yellow paintwork with gray decals, muscular bodywork with angular lines, and a transparent windshield that is inherent to the adventure scooter class. 
The heart of the model is a 125cc one-cylinder four-stroke engine with liquid cooling and electronic fuel injection. The motor is combined with an automatic CVT and can generate the maximum power output of 14.28 horsepower. In order to efficiently get over bumps and other uneven road surfaces, Storm V is equipped with a 37mm front telescopic fork and a double rear shock absorber. The braking setup is represented by a 260mm front disc with a 4-piston caliper and a 220mm rear disc with a 1-piston caliper. In the standard configuration, you're getting CBS braking while the ABS is optional. Despite the size, Storm V offers an ample amount of storage. There are two glove compartments in the front and an under-seat storage capacity suitable for a full-face helmet. The standard configuration also gets you a large 7-inch TFT color display that grants you access to various performance metrics as well as a GPS navigation function. Do you agree that scooters deserve to be more respected? Some wonder why many riders dismiss them in favor of motorcycles, but who are we to stop them from spending too much money on an unreliable and gas-guzzling bike? Let's discuss today's lineup in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming videos about two-wheelers, and as always, may the torque be with you.